G'day guys and girls and welcome back to Guess Where We Are. Goodies, beer reviews. I wasn't going to do this one because I was about, oh, I was actually going to go to bed. It's um, it's early-ish but man, I'm just stuffed. So before I did, I thought of all my subscribers and I've got the glow of the white in the background. It's a very tidy PC, RTX 3080, 32 gig of RAM, Core, I think it's i9-11900, don't quote me, shit ton of fans, slim gold power supply, water, cooling, and that's my games, I love my games, some people will go, I don't know what you just fucking said, and some people will, and I like the UFC, and I like sport, and I like... Well, we all like different things. Look at this singer. Singer from Thailand, land of the smiles, land of the mango. 330ml bottle, which I will have to... I think it is, is that 330ml? Bad lighting in here. 330, yeah, well, you know what, we can't complain, it's coming in. It's imported, this one, I think, Singer. Um, 5% ABV, which is surprising. 5%, 330ml bottle. Singer. Thai beer. So when you go to Thailand, to the, all the... You know, this is like the Fosters, God forbid, of Australia. But Singer. Um, I'm heading over there in January. I can't wait to post a few videos in my typical style and charm. Um, this thing looked like it wanted trouble in a nice way because we're going there so we just don't want to upset anyone. So she went to go through customs and hiss. Very sneaky. Hiss on the bottle. Cap will come off gently. Let's get this into the glass. So I was just about to crank up again. Um, and I'm going to play a bit of Overwatch and it's my little escape. Very nice. Look, I was expecting not much out of this beer, like a Hollandia or a, you know, one of the Bavarias, the, or the, the silver can, the, you know, the Italian beer. You just, you just don't know what you get. It's crunch on fresh water, refreshing the palate. Um, yeah, singer. So will I be drinking this over in Thailand? in my Bali Bing Tang singlet. Sounds like there's a bit of a, like a bit of a, bit of a showdown outside, but maybe it's just, anyway, very well carbonated, nice head, nearly two fingers, nearly a double back. Two fingers, very carbonated, um, looks lovely. That's a nice looking be all you know i went outside to do this review not gonna lie and the mozzies mate oh whack buzz buzz whack buzz buzz whack whack and i just went fuck this and came inside so singer yeah heading to sukum v uh coming up soy 15. it smells like to his extra dry it smells like an Aussie, just adjunct lager, like just a very basic. But I'll tell you what, it looks clear. Very clear, very very sessionable in the high heat. Remember where you're drinking this, if you're going to be having a few singers or, you know, like you're going to be, it's hot, humid. So let's have this and try it. Cheers, everyone. very clean. That's a clean beer. I mean, if you go to the airport and you arrive in Australia, I know I've got a couple of Americans on the channel, and, uh, you know, or wherever else you are, God bless you, but if you come here and you come to our airport, don't have a Foster's. Um, I'd probably say don't have a few, but Foster's, 
and VB, I'd go probably no. Um, if you see James Squire or you see, but even this, if we go to title and we see or have this, pardon me, on tap, you'd be sitting there all day at 5% sucking these down in the heat, the humidity, a nice bar, a nice outlook. Why wouldn't you? Very easy to drink. Look, not much flavour. Malty, I'll give it that. It's carbonated. It even laces the glass well. Sitting in Australia and sometimes you're paying you know, well, for example, Chur, which is a fantastic group. That's New Zealand, but we consider them family. We're all family. Six, seven dollars a can for that is just absolute. It's an absolute steal. You, you cannot not have a can of Chur, and then even if you got to pay full price for it, I, I, I'm tempted all the time. It, it's such a good beer. Lid Ripper, Hazy Smiles, gorgeous beers. This. Singer for an Aussie. Congratulations, yeah, Thailand. Like, very nice beer. It's just a nice looking beer. It's sessionable as hell. It's 5%, you know, which is, it's a good APV. It's right smack bang in the middle. And that's what you want. I haven't had a bad day, actually. I... I did a pie review. I've done a shed review. I've done a review for every boo-boo out there. <laughs> Anyways, I've been throwing some ideas around myself on what I'm doing and, you know, where I'm going. Like, and I'm going to mention this really quickly before I go, so we'll get the... If you see this, I'd say give it a run, mate. Singer, you can't, you can't get past that. And I'm not biased, like my ties, even some of the um, uh, Holland beers, even that Hollandia. Uh, there was another German one too. Oh, it was, uh, I had a bloody little six pack carry bag they gave me back in the day. I used to turn up the bottle though. And um, they knew me well, like I'd turn up and just get, just a six pack or I'd get a couple after work. I was always fucking finished from work. At all hours of the night. It was a good German beer and a very mainstream one here about 94, 95 in Sydney. Um, oh, God, it's on the tip of your tongue. Look at the geckos in the background. We still got the sounds of country even when they were inside. I like it here. I do. But it's funny, you know, like, where's home? Home. Think about that for a second. I'm not getting all fucking, I shouldn't swear, but all, you know, like, but where's home? Where's home to you? Is home where you grew up when you were young and that's your earliest memories? Was a home where you connected with the land and the people? When I left Sydney and I went to Burke, I never connected. And it wasn't my first little community or little, it's not that. Think about what you've got to do. Literally in, in two, three weeks and say, we're going to Burke, going to Burke. Like, most people go, get effed or, st you know, and I get that. But you know what I'm telling you now, guys, the place out there is such a good place. And it's gone to the shit a bit with youth crime. And it's, and I, look, Burke's always going to have a special place in my heart. So this will be, this will be a Thailand beer with the most Australian country. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> 
place in New South. I think I think we can save him into Burke. My crazy. I just look back and I'm telling you, some of those sunsets and some of those, some of the sunrises. The river when it was dry, which was just the lifeblood of the town, and when it flows, it's like, it's like this, it's just like, it's like blood going through your arteries and veins, and I'm not sounding silly. Connection to country, it's a big thing, man, I'm telling you. The cliffs, the red cliffs near me, they're just, oh, the redness in the cliffs bashed by the seaside. Like, I'm not sounding like a fucking stater, I'm just saying, like, it's just... As you get older, you go to the beach, and what's the most important, oh, when you're younger, sorry, the waves, how big are the waves, how do the waves curl... So when you get older, you, you, you go to the beach and you go, I've done that. I've done the surfing. I've done the bodyboarding. I've done the splashing. I, now it's time to look around. Now it's time to look at, you know, you slow down a bit. And, geez, I tell you what, I'm not going to lie. It's a good feeling. I've got to slow down. And just... Review a few beers and have a fucking laugh. And I want to have a good life for my remaining years. I think we're going to end it on that. What a statement. Oh. <laughs> Self-gratification is no <laughs> gratification. Love each other, take care of each other. I love thinking and talking and listening. Sing a beer. Hashtag Thailand. They're going to look at me and go, Jesus Christ. Love each other. I'll see you at the next one. Love you all. I can't wait to go over there and just... I just want to see the culture and the change and just everything. Peace. Always.